Okay, so for this uh, chapter, the first thing that we want to talk about is that there are actually two types of collaborative filtering. The first one is user-based uh, collaborative filtering, and the second one is the item-based. So there will be two Excel sheets for each of the type here. Uh, the first one that I want to talk about in this clip is the user-based. Uh, collaborative filtering. So let's go into the example. Um, so this is the Excel sheet for um, user-based collaborative filtering. Uh, the 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 data that we have is that you no, know, you know, we have uh, how many people? Uh, seven people here. Uh, they have given some ratings for uh, six movies, and including the Sixth Sense, Flight. Amor, Superman, Dodgeball, and the others. So these are the six movies that uh, you know they are wa they have watched. Uh, some of them might be like might have watched some movies, but uh, you know some movies they might not have watched. Like Lana haven't watched the others, or Noel haven't hasn't watched, or uh, no Noel has watched all the movies. Uh, Teresa only watch flight superman and dodgeball so um in this example we want to know if theresa would like amor here so we want to know the rating the estimate rating for theresa to in order to you know try to suggest theresa whether or not she should watch amor um so to begin with this uh, excel sheet let's find the average value of all rating for each people. So in this case, we will say average, and then we select <coughs> um, the, the ratings for each person. So if you do that and then just drag down, then we get the average rating. Let me just make the digit. Okay, so this is the average. These are the average averages rating uh, for all the, the movie watcher and now here i just randomly pick lana so i put i just type in so let me just delete it i just type in lana here so i type lana and this here i type theresa um by typing lana and theresa we just randomly pick lana and we want to check uh how lana's taste in terms of watching movie is similar to Theresa. How similar Lana's movie test is uh, compared to Theresa. So in this case, um, we type the name. Uh, these two lines, we just let it equal to, you know, Lana and Theresa, we just let it equal to Theresa. So these are just copying the two, two names that we select to explore. Um, first, we want to just copy, you know, these rating, oops, copy these rating, the rating from, from Lana uh, down into this uh, purple area. Um, so in order to copy, we just say e equal index. And in the index, we want to specify the array, right? Which array we want to um, explore. So we just select uh, D8 up until, so the entire table of the data that we have. So this is D8 to I14. Um, we also need to put the dollar sign in order to fix this table. Uh, putting dollar sign, we can just press F4. Here, oops, let me just try something. So here, uh, putting the dollar sign here, I just press F4. If you press F4, uh, the dollar sign can come up easily, okay? Um, okay, so once I fix it, fix the entire table, oops. The next thing that I have to specify is the um, row number and column number. So I want to you know, tell that I want the row Lana. So in order to get the row Lana, I have, 
uh, so many things to do. The first thing that I can do match, and then I match Lana, and I need to fix the column C by putting the dollar sign here because you know if I if I drag down and copy the same formula for Teresa, then my my row can change but my column c will not change which is what i want um, so i fix lana and then i just select the entire list of names here so then whenever they see lana in here they'll give the the index for lana so since lana is listed number one here so match uh, C16 in this table will give me one, okay? So this is gonna be that, and then I just put the zero as like the, the, the input. We don't, we just, if this is default, by default, you just need to put zero. And next thing I need to provide a column number, which I already put one, two, three, four, five, six um, in row 15 here. So I just put D15. And again, I need to fix the row number, 15. So when I drag it, um, my row is not gonna change. Uh, I also need to fix this list. So I need to put F4 and F4, and then I close it, enter, and I get 2.5 from Lana. And then I can just like, copy it and you know drag down to Teresa so Teresa is going to use the same formula as Lana um, just that I don't need to retype it again since I already like fix all the tables uh, fix all the rows and columns that I needed to fix so I can just copy it um, by doing this I can copy all the values from this table up down here. And when there's no reading, I just put zero here. Um, and in the, the gray area, the next step <clears throat> is that we wanna just uh, find, you know, the, the value that is like similar. So like in, in, in this gray area, we just wanna copy the 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 movie the the ratings for the movie that the two people have seen uh, together. So, for example, we just want to copy um, this column, this column, and this column uh, for uh, the sixth cent. Only Lana have watched it, and uh, Amor only Lana have watched it. So we don't want to. Um, See, uh, copy that because you know we want to compare how Lana's taste is similar to uh, Theresa. So we just want to pick the ones that they have watched um, together. So in order to do that, we will see. We can say if um, how if, and then we say D sixteen. So D sixteen, it's this one up until D seventeen. Oops. And this is D17, okay. So D16 to D17. And again, I wanna fix the row 16 and also the row 17 here. So if this is greater than zero, uh, so basically this is saying that if the two number here is great, uh, just wanna count uh, which, uh, just want to count if these two ratings uh, are, are greater than zero. If it's greater than zero, then you count as one. If it's greater than, if both of these are greater than zero, then you have two. If both of these are greater than zero, then count if it's two, then that means the two uh, people have watched the same movie. So uh, we want to count if uh, this is greater than zero equal to so if the two movie go uh, movie watcher have watched the same movie so if if we count it at is like two then we just want to put in the rating of that uh, their rating into this gray area but if not we'll just put you know this underscore sign 
So if I copy this the formula, uh, you can see that if this formula will only copy the ones that they have watched together. So the rating for Fly only show up, the rating for Superman only show up, and the rating for Dash Bar only show up. So for the one that they haven't watched together, or for the one that only one of them have watched it, then it's gonna not show anything and put the underscore sign. Um, okay, now we'll, we'll calculate the correlation between these two people. So. Uh, the formula to find the correlation is C O R R E L, and then we just select these uh, rows, this row, um, and we want to also find the correlation between Lana and Theresa. So the second one, we just need to select Theresa's ready. So in uh, using this formula, Corel, this is gonna find the correlation. So correlation means like how similar you are to the other. So for example, if the correlation is high, closer to one, that means the more the other people like the movie, the more I would seem to like the movie, uh, something like that. If it's negative value, then if they really like that movie, that means I'm not gonna really like that movie. If the correlation is, is low, that means if they like it, I might not like it or I might just, um, feel indifferent. So if you are really correlated with the other, that means you you're, you, are, you, you tend to have a similar behavior as the other. So calculating this um, correlation for the two uh, people in the cell H23, uh, this formula is going to create the correlation of everyone uh, uh, between, you know, every one of them in in this table in order to do that um we just need to use the two-way data table to compute uh, each pair of people uh, uh, the correlations between their movie ratings so we're gonna have to like uh do it in this pink area so First of all, we need to select um, the entire table here, like that. And then once you select the table, then you go to what if in the data tab. So you find the data tab up here, click on it, click what if analysis, uh, click data table. And then <clears throat> um, for the row input, uh, you just select uh, C16 as the row input because like, you use Lana and Teresa as the example to generate the entire table. So you just select Lana first and then for the column input, you select Teresa. And by doing this, it's gonna loop all the pair and find the correlation among them. So you just click OK, and now your correlation table come up. Uh, so as you can see, you know, like the correlation between Lana and Lana is definitely one because they, you know it's the same person. So the correlation in the diagonal line is always one. Um, and here, let's say George and Lana seem to have different tastes because you know George and Lana's correlation is a bit low compared to um, you know the the correlation between Theresa and Lana. So this is how you generate the correlation table uh, among all the movie watchers. Okay, so now we'll we'll, we'll stop here and move on to the next um, top uh, you know next thing that we have to do. But I just want to split out. Uh, video into a couple clips.